And then Kendall Jenner comes up to a police officer and gives him a Pepsi. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most offensive advertisements of all time. I'm Judy, and I was born to fly. For this list, we'll be ranking the most misguided and poorly received ways companies tried to sell a product. Did any of these ads shock you? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Innocence is sexier than you think. Love Cosmetics. One of the most infamous company campaigns of the 1970s revolved around the Baby Soft line of body and bath products for Love Cosmetics. So Love made Baby Soft with the innocent scent of a cuddly, clean baby. The Innocence is Sexier Than You Think campaign often featured young models or women made to look as youthful as possible. Outside of the slogan, the images and poses were often suggestive. In one commercial, an older woman in the ad suggestively licks a prop lollipop while infantile music plays in the background. And there's also narration that continually objectifies her. So innocent, it may well be the sexiest fragrance around. The model's short outfit, creepy focus on youth, and objectification all made us question how this cringy ad was ever greenlit. For your baby at Christmas. Number 9. Spike the Eggnog, Bloomingdale's. Back in 2015, Bloomingdale's included a very questionable advertisement in its magazine. Bloomingdale's just issued an apology for an ad that they made that was just so, so dumb. While a female model was laughing and having a good time, the guy in the pic was staring at her back. The accompanying text read, spike your friend's eggnog when they're not looking. Additionally, the male model's suspicious look made it seem like he had bad intentions for his friend. Soon after it was released, it received pushback from consumers who thought the ad was saying it's okay to sedate others without consent. Bloomingdale's soon issued a full apology for the ad. Bloomingdale's has this to say. In reflection of recent feedback, the copy we used in our recent catalog was inappropriate and in poor taste. Bloomingdale's sincerely apologizes for this error in judgment. But since it was already printed, it remained in circulation throughout the holiday season. Number 8. Fly Me, National Airlines. The Fly Me campaign from National Airlines initially featured its actual female stewardesses smiling broadly for the camera. Come on and fly me. While the picture was innocent on the surface, the suggestive slogan suggested something a lot more risque was going on. National Airlines went on to release more varieties of the same ad in print and on TV to pull in customers. While some consumers responded positively to the campaign, others protested it. I'm Cindy. Fly me to Miami, Tampa, Orlando. People felt the suggestive ads encouraged customers to treat stewardesses like potential romantic partners instead of professionals. National was far from the only company to use sex to sell a product. An infamous Tipolet tobacco ad featured the slogan, blow in her face and she'll follow you anywhere. Number 7. Pipe Job, Hyundai Motor Company. It's difficult to believe that car manufacturing giant Hyundai couldn't see how wildly offensive this ad campaign was as soon as they saw it. Jim Sheridan called it the most tasteless and sick advert he's ever seen. The commercial features a depressed man sitting in a car within a garage. After a few tense seconds, it becomes clear that he intends to take his own life by using the car's exhaust. But the commercial takes another turn by revealing that he survived because the Hyundai iX35 featured 100% water emissions. The company's decision to use such a serious subject to sell cars was seen as incredibly irresponsible. After receiving a ton of backlash, the extremely controversial commercial was quickly taken down. In a statement, the company wrote, It runs counter to our values as a company and as a member of the community. Hyundai apologizes to those who have been personally impacted by tragedy. Number 6. Make Safe Happen Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company Paying big bucks to air your ad during the Super Bowl can be a great way to get tons of exposure for your business. Unfortunately for Nationwide, this big gamble backfired. I'll never learn to fly. In 2015, the company released a commercial where a kid is having normal childhood experiences, but he kept alluding to the fact that he won't get to do any of the on-screen activities. As the commercial's winding down, it's revealed the main character passed away from a household accident. I couldn't grow up. Consumers blasted this commercial about preventing similar instances at home because it was viewed as being too dark and bleak. Nationwide actually stood behind the campaign and insisted it was about awareness. However, many viewers were not on Nationwide's side on this one. Together, we can make safe happen. Number 5. Live for Now, Pepsi According to Pepsi, their Live for Now ad was meant to project a global message of unity, peace, and understanding. But after it was released, it only managed to universally convince everyone that the soda company's new commercial was terrible. <music> the 
The infamous ad features a group of people marching forward until they encounter a line of police. After a tense moment, Kendall Jenner is able to broker peace by giving an officer a Pepsi. The company's push for unity rang hollow because of the blatant and forced product placement. People also didn't take too kindly to seeing a company commercialize protests in an important era for social justice. Years later, the SNL parody has become far more beloved than the Loathe commercial itself. So the whole thing is sort of an homage to the Black Lives Matter move. Don't even touch it. Number four, white is purity, Nivea. More than a few companies have issued racially insensitive ads over the years. Renu infamously tried to joke about using an offensive slur to sell a car. And when Dove endorsed an ad where soap caused a black woman to turn into a white model, people were taken aback. Dove removed the clip, apologizing on Facebook, saying Dove is committed to representing the beauty of diversity. And we missed the mark in thoughtfully representing women of color. And we deeply regret the offense that it's caused. But Nivea's misstep was arguably worse than both of those combined. Their infamous ad featured a brunette model in all-white clothing with the phrase, white is purity. Shortly after the image went public, it was adopted by several members of racist movements online. The caption on the Facebook post said, Keep it clean, keep it bright, but don't let anything ruin it. Hashtag invisible. Both the bad press and terrifying endorsement pushed Nivea to apologize and take the ad down. Both the Nivea UK and Nivea USA Twitter accounts have been replying to people apologizing. Number three like a cult, Hacienda Mexican Restaurants. While we understand it's hard for a Mexican restaurant to stand out in a crowded market, we don't think this commercial was the way to go. A Hacienda Family Mexican Restaurant brings the flavor, freshness, and family atmosphere. The company was forced to pull its billboards back in 2011 after consumers complained about their content. In this case, Hacienda decided to compare their business model to what happened at Jonestown in 1978. The ad claimed that the restaurants were like a cult with better Kool-Aid. They also went on to tout their eating experience as being to die for. For some reason, people didn't like thinking about the deaths of nearly a thousand people while enjoying Mexican cuisine. It's not hard to see why Hacienda didn't hesitate to get rid of these ads. La Hacienda Family Mexican Restaurant, where the flavor makes the difference. Number two, Tsunami Relief, WWF. No, we're not talking about the pro wrestling company. This controversy is all about the World Wildlife Fund. These clouds turn into this rain. This rain falls over this forest. The ad was made by a Brazilian agency the company worked with and was meant to be released outside of America. However, it didn't take too long for U.S. commenters to get wind of it. The advertisement was created to show the horrific loss of life from a 2004 tsunami. But that message was lost because the agency chose to use an exaggerated image of the 9-11 attacks to show how many died in the natural disaster. Shortly after people saw the ad, WWF said it should never have been made. Using one tragedy to talk about another only ended up upsetting double the amount of people. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Save the Money – Groupon We get that edgier Super Bowl commercials tend to get more attention, however this doesn't excuse Groupon from diminishing the very real struggles of the Tibetan people to sell their service. Their very culture is in jeopardy but they still whip up an amazing fish curry. The purpose of their Save the Money campaign was to tell consumers that they could get a taste of some faraway places right at home at a discounted Groupon rate. Outside of that commercial, the company also made light of whale extinction and rainforest conservation in other ads. But not all deforestation is bad. But the Tibet edition received the most flack. Groupon's fumble was so bad that even the apology they issued afterwards was criticized for not being sincere enough. Save the money. The company once again showed why real struggles should never be used to sell products. Groupon.com Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.